Spain has been making the case that the autonomous region of Catalonia cannot survive without the oversight of the Prime Minister of Spain and consequently the whims of the European Union. Catalonia's latest independence referendum is a reaction to the Spanish Constitutional Court's rewriting of a statute approved by the autonomous state of Catalonia in 2006 after Catalonian laws, especially those regarding taxes, were rewritten, the Catalonians felt they had no choice but to secede from Spain. Catalonia has the highest GDP of all the regions in Spain. If Spain were to lose Catalonia, they would lose 16% of its population and 20% of Spain's entire economy. That is why federal police in full riot gear ripped thousands of Catalonians, including elderly people and even a dog from the polling stations. Scenes of federal police confronting local police in intense standoffs. Video continues to pour out of federal police brutalizing Catalonians, a number that has currently reached well over 760 injured. chant from the crowds from the pro-secessionist voters is occupation forces get out. Remember that the Spanish National Riot Police have come from other areas of Spain to Catalonia with a specific order to crack down on this referendum. Prime Minister Rajoy had sent in thousands of troops stationed aboard cruise ships off of the coast of Catalonia. The troops seized millions of ballots and arrested dozens of pro-independence officials. And this overarching presence of federal troops adds more motive to why the recent terrorist attacks in the Catalonia region, including the truck attack in Barcelona killing 14, had hallmark characteristics of a false flag event. DW News reports Cesar Martinez and his family were among those who witnessed the scene. Martinez says, armed units stopped us on the A7 by Malaga. We were treated like criminals and had the feeling that something bad had happened, but it ended up happening a day later. Regardless of the polling stations that were shut down, the counting of the votes has just begun. Of course, it is highly likely that Madrid will never recognize Catalonia's independence, whatever the outcome. In fact, Madrid claims the vote never happened. No ha habido referendum. There hasn't been a referendum or the resemblance of one. I asked the Catalan government and the parties that support it to cease this irresponsibility, to assume from this moment that what had never been legal is clearly unfeasible. It makes no sense to continue this farce that leads nowhere. But independence is something the Catalonians cannot live without. John Bowne reporting for Infowars.com. Let's go to Debit in Florida. Debit in Florida, you're on the air. Great. Hey, thank you so much. Listen, I have bought your product, and I got to say they're amazing. Thank Anyone you. who's on the fence, buy it, because I've, I've got Caveman, Superman Vitality, Secret 12, Vitamin Mineral Fusion. I've got the Body Armor. Wow, thank you. Wow. You're the type of listener that makes it all possible. Which nutraceutical so, does you like best? I really like the, the Vitamin Mineral Fusion, to be honest. That's it's amazing. Really incredible. I drank it in the morning, and I swear to you, I felt incredible. Like, I haven't felt weak. My morning was fantastic, and I, and I love you guys. I love the info. Wars crew, and I just want to, yeah, I want to, I want to take this opportunity to tell anybody out there who's on the fence, just buy it, you will love it. I'm telling you, I've never bought a bad product. What you find in our news is the same thing you find in our products at InfoWarsLife.com. It's a win-win, InfoWarsLife.com.